Okay, I made out today like a fat cat with the bargains. Let me show you what I got. I got some fresh spinach for $2 and what is it, 62 cents. And it didn't have any mold or wet spots or what have you. It looks terrific. For Andrew, I got this um, reduced sticky bun with pecans, $2.49. I got a vegetable medley for $1.84, and that looks really good. I'm anxious to eat that. What is this one? This one is, oh yeah, zucchini and onion and dill, various squash, $1.82. Have jalapenos, and they're already de-seeded mostly, it looks like for me, for I, what is it? A dollar eighty four. This would be really good. Some green beans, and these look terrific. But I am gonna take them out of the bag and wash them and dry them very thoroughly, and then I'll probably blanch them and freeze them, and I will cook them with a little bacon fat, salt and pepper. They will be delicious. I got some discounted nan because can you ever have enough? I don't know. Frugal Fit Mom says no. Uh, bagels, then everything bagel for a dollar fourteen, and some hot dog buns for a dollar forty nine, and oh yeah, English muffins for ninety nine cents. And some cube steak because I have really been craving some chicken fried steak. <sighs> Three eighty six is not the best price ever, but I've really been craving chicken fried steak, so I was glad for any kind of reduction. Um, I got these packages of lunch meat for a dollar seventy four. Foster Farms dollar seventy four eight ounces. Um, at my grocery store. A similar item from the uh, deli is usually $5.99 a pound. So I thought these were a terrific buy. I got three. I left three behind because I try now never to take the last of anything. Um, if I can help it, save something for someone else. Andrew loves these skewers and they were reduced to $0.79. Cents. They don't expire for like three more days but the USDA does say that you can eat yogurt safely up to even seven days past the expiration date it's a cultured milk product it will be fine I'm not worried at all and I'm sure they will be delicious okay what else oh these do not have a markdown but they were a closeout they were Marked on the shelf at a dollar nine. I thought they were great. My little pig boy will love these little pig pen. He will love those yum yums. Um, when I rent to ring them at self checkout, they rang at eighty nine cents. So additional twenty cents off. I was pretty excited. This bread looked delicious. This came from Smart and Final for $1.74. It's an old-fashioned rosemary sourdough. And, yeah, that's a 24-ounce loaf. So those will make some delicious sandwiches for lunches and what have you. Maybe we will have um, the turkey with them. That sounds good. Those are my lemons. Those came from my trees. They're delicious and enormous and we'll be showing those on a, another video tomorrow probably. Um, it's a ponderosa lemon and um, I'll tell you the whole story. There's a story. There's always a story. And then I got these discounted Roma tomatoes and they're firm and they, they have little tiny imperfections like that. I'm just going to cut around the, uh, and I'm going to make all of these into um, spaghetti sauce. But there wasn't a bad one in the bunch. Just, you know, 
a little bit ugly here and there. I'm a little bit ugly here and there. Okay, now I did pay full price for some items. I paid full price for a Tarani English toffee syrup. It's totally worth it because if it keeps me out of Starbucks, um, it's worth the $6.99 and this will last almost a month. I did buy some um, First Street Dry Salami because this is absolutely delicious. It lasts a long time. It's a pretty good value at $5.99 for 12 ounces. Um, but it is a really good salami. It's dry, but not too dry. And it's not peppered on the outside. I don't really care for those very much. And that's what I have right now because it was a free item. I uh, can't be free. Can't say no to that. I did buy Pig Pen, his fresh pet. Uh chunky beef recipe dog food um he gets a lot of serenes out of this this supplements his dry dog food and other various yum yums it's just kind of an extra special treat because he's my extra good boy i have been craving a butterfingers for weeks now and um i have not been able to find one um I also haven't stopped for gas in almost maybe a little bit more than a month. So I haven't really been to a filling station or convenience store where I could find one. They didn't have one at my Albertsons and I couldn't see one at Fry's. So yay, I got a Butterfinger. I'm going to enjoy it every bit. I might share with Andrew. I might not. I might eat it secretly in the laundry room. 